first source tip? Uh, yeah, it's, it's what we expected um, coming up against a, a better opposition tonight. Um, we expect them to have a bit more structure around their, their set piece and uh, sequence plays and I think individually they, they challenge us a bit more as well. So yeah, quality opposition and uh, I, I think uh, half time 14-10 and then um, you know, blowing the game out there in the second half was, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's great to see our, our guys um, you know, really put the foot down there in the second half. Yeah, we were just saying just outside that um, maybe that first half wasn't as the game wasn't as fast as last week, but there was much more of the fundamentals of rugby, if you like. You know, you, yes, it was fast, but you, know, you can't get away from scrum and line out for that now, which then leads to ball skills technique, and that's when you can open the game up. Yeah, I, I think both teams, uh, with the way the game went, and um, sort of midway to late in that first half, you could, you could see both teams were, were pretty uh, pretty gassed. So, um, you know, we, we had instructions there. Um, you know, we, we don't don't always play with ball in hand. If they're spacing behind, uh, certainly kick to the corner. So we kicked a bit more than uh, you know, tonight than what we have in previous games as well. So, um, which I think, and, and our accuracy and execution was very good with our kicking game. So uh, that, and then obviously in turn, you know, you go to line outs, scrums a lot more uh, with that sort of kicking. Yeah, then when you've got someone like Nick Juice in the side, you can use that kick code as a weapon. Yeah, it is a weapon, absolutely. Yeah, if you can chew another 10 or 15 metres off. Uh, off those kicks, it um, you know, it's obviously uh, a great advantage for your side, but it, it can be demoralising for the opposition. Set piece, please with it. Well, well scrum. Yeah, there's a lot more pressure this week than you know, the last couple of weeks that we've had. And obviously, Tim's touched on it that you know they were going to bring a little bit of that, but uh, I thought we were pretty good. We won our own ball. Just probably tidy things up a little bit around our, our mall a little bit. Um, lost our way a little bit there a couple of times. Thought we could have taken advantage a little bit more and. and Scored tries straight off the wall instead of having to go to a little bit of picking guy. Uh, scrum time. Thought we uh, we were we were all right. You know, I guess we didn't get our own way like we did against um, Hong Kong. Um, you know, the, you know they put a lot more pressure on there, which is good. That's what we want. We want a challenge, and um, it was enjoyable to have that challenge. Yeah. They were a bigger side, and they were better drilled, and they were better technique. But I think you still went up two or three penalties at the scrum. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did, but yeah, I guess we kind of. Hold ourselves to our own standards, and I think there was a, a little bit there that we, you know, we just slipped away ourselves a little bit. And uh, if we can just tidy that up, we'll be, we'll be a lot better. It was a stern test, I don't know, wasn't it? I mean, especially in that first half, they were putting some pretty big hits. You could probably ask Jerry that when he was out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were. You know, they were, they were shutting us down a little bit. You know, they're they coming up on the outside, so we couldn't, you know, get the ball we wanted to kind of shepherd us back in so they could line us up a little bit. Um, so we had to adjust to that a little bit, uh, but you know, we just knew, obviously we've had two games of this of these rules and, this, and kind of knew you know, in that second half if we could you know, keep our composure and, and keep our systems going a little bit that we'd, you know, we'd grind it out and, and, and you know, back our fitness and, and we'll come right away with the win. So they were shepherding you in, that first half, is it something you looked at at half time? Because I noticed that first half, you were punching hard through the middle of the ball. Second half, seemed to be a bit of a weak. Would that be right? Yeah, it, it probably did start to open up a bit um, when we, you know, I think we did uh, start to get on top of the opposition. That was a message, uh, certainly, when we got on top of them, just to just to keep the foot down. Um, and that, uh, you know, I think, yeah, you know, that, that that's the trend of the game in that first half. And we did speak about it pre-game as well. It is, you know, physically. Uh, you know, to, to come out um, on top there uh, around the defence, but also you know, just with your carries and your clean outs, you, you've got to dominate the opposition there. And uh, yeah, that it was, mate. It was a, the constant message was to wear them down. So. Yeah, and a couple of David Hunts, word about it? Yeah, oh, outstanding, absolutely. Uh, Carlo, you know, got a try, which was nice, yeah. but also put a lot of pressure defensively on their breakdown, slowed their ball down, got a couple of nice little turnover penalties. Uh, Michael McDonald coming on, he uh, you know, made a nice um, couple of runs there, but also I think his service was excellent. Um, so it's great to see uh, those two guys debut for the Western Force, uh, coming through the pathways. Um, you know, they're, they're proud of what they've achieved and, and what they do for their club and the community. And uh, it's, uh, we, we certainly back those guys and they train exceptionally well every week. It's, uh, it's great to see them 
take the opportunity with both hands. And, and the depth you've sort of shown for this game, I mean, you know Ian Pryor, your regular 10 and 15 were both out. So there's your two, your playmaker, your second receiver as well, if you like it. Someone else who kicks well, to show you can go without your regular players if you need to call. Yeah, that's uh, you know, new halves combination that it can it can be tricky, but yeah, it's uh, I think they, they you know AJ and, and Isaac have trained a lot together, um, and and their quality plays you know we've seen in the last couple of games coming off the bench what they offer, um, and they are unique and different to to um, Ian Pryor and Andrew Deegan. So uh, for AJ, you know I think he had a clean sheet 100 percent with his goal kicking. It just adds to that scoreboard, uh, scoreboard pressure and. Uh, I think he controlled the game really well, mixed his options up. And, and Isaac's Isaac, he, uh, you know, it's, uh, we just had pretty clear instructions for him to start the game and just get us into the game. And then at the back end of the half, uh, things would open up for him when they did. I think Carlo's attitude was summed up. I spoke to him earlier in the week and he said that you told him to play his normal game. And I said, oh, what's your normal game? He said, hit people. <laughs> Hit <laughs> people and steal the ball. I had to sum him up. Whether it's just a young bloke who's going to get out there and enjoy himself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, you know, the simpler you can keep it, the better. To be fair, you know, yeah, especially for a forward anyway. So, and that's what he did. And you know, he just focused on those sort of two things, and he did a pretty fine job. Yeah. And now Japan, when do you take off? And what are you looking forward to there? Yeah, we fly out Wednesday night. Uh, I think you know, getting on the road is good. Uh, we're away for. Yeah, you know, fair chunk, 19 days, which is a, a long tour. Uh, but I, I think what, what's good there is the, the challenge of playing against different style of opposition again. Um, you know, the Japanese also play a very fast up tempo game, and you know, some some of our guys wouldn't have been to Japan uh, or played against uh, Japan rugby. And we've got you know two really good fixtures over there in the first game against top league side in Sanix. Uh, down in Fukuoka, and then we move up to Tokyo and play the Wolfpack, the Japan A uh, side, which at uh, Chubu Stadium. So, yeah, you know, it's a great fixture, and you know, it's uh, it's one that we're uh, certainly going to target to put in a good performance. Yeah. That will be a big test. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Yeah. And then you say 19 days, and you get to Singapore, don't you? Obviously, is that part of the tour you talk about? 19 days. We do. We go straight from Tokyo yeah. over Singapore. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. And what size squad are you taking? Or are you going to take? Are you going to bring players in during the tour? Or are you going to take a corporate travel? Yeah, we, we've got an extra extra couple of players there for the trip. Ian uh, Pryor uh, will probably join us after uh, he and his wife Lizzie give birth, uh, which is next week to their first child. So uh, Ian will come and join us after that uh, in Tokyo. So, but uh, yeah, a little bit of an extended squad. Yeah, it'll be 25 with Ian, yeah, yeah. As a coach, first time you've played under those new laws, what's mm -hmm. your first impressions? Um, we're, we're pretty happy going into half time at 14-10 to be honest. Um, one of the issues for us being based in Singapore is we've, we've struggled to get um, some good pre-season matches. So essentially this was our first uh, high tempo pre-season hit out. Um, and uh, yeah, to go in at half time at 14-10 we're, we're, we're pretty pleased with that. Um, we're wary that uh, the, the speed and, and the way that the force play, obviously they're a very fit team. Um, we, we knew we would have to stay with them in the second half and get some points early, and w which uh, didn't come to fruition. So that kind of stung us that early try in the second half. Um, and then we tended to, to chase the game a wee bit from there. But um, I, th I think the, the format of the, the match is, is awesome. Obviously the balls in play a lot more. And, um, it's definitely a lot more holes with, with teams um, uh, um, trying to maintain the, the defensive alignment uh, under pressure and, and under duress. What about as a player? As a player? Oh, yeah, yeah. Once, uh, we came in at half time, we, fought, we, we felt good. And then it was hard to get our second win in that second half, like coming up after that rest. But uh, just more, more to build on for our next game. So proud of the boys, but what they did out there. So our first. Proper head out, so. Bit of a big learning curve, jumping from old style, if you want to call it, mm. to what you're facing now. Oh. I, think, I guess the basics are still there, aren't they? Yeah, it's yeah. Good play. It's it's hard it's hard to put my finger on it, but it's it's a lot faster. It seems like we're playing the same, but it's a lot mm. faster. So.
There's a bit more pressure on you in the back as well, doesn't it? With uh, yeah. you just can't pick it out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you've got to think what we do. Yeah, you've got to be a lot more organised around um, how you get out of your your 20 metre defensive zone, um, and and with that means you have to be pretty disciplined in your kick chase um, because you don't get that break with the ball going out. So. That'll be obviously something we'll have a look at um, and review and, and see where we can make maybe be a little bit better at that. A bit different for the, for the side as well, because normally a bit of an invitation side that comes together, mm. the occasional tournament now, and this is uh, the real thing, if you like, rapid rugby. Yeah. Been together since January. Yeah, so we've been um, based in Singapore <coughs> since, since January, um, and, and the team's been training really well, um, obviously in the heat over there. Um, but the, as I mentioned before, the biggest issue is just having that, that full noise hit outs that we just have struggled to access. Um, but uh, so we, we knew we'd be a little bit raw coming into this match. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely uh, be the better for having that type of intensity and, uh, and moving forward to Hong Kong next week. So you're in Hong Kong next week? Yep. And then you've got these guys in. Uh, we play Hong Kong in That's consecutive weeks, yeah. and then uh, the Forcers will be our last match in Singapore. Right, so there's some changes. Yeah. So, do you, use, do you use those games as a, not as a training session, but do you have to introduce something each game just to try and adjust, or is it just, guys, this is how we've got to play? Um, yeah, I think it's just a matter of adapting quickly. <laughs> Um, which, which we, we, I thought I was pretty happy with the first half, to be honest. I thought we were in the scrap. Um, so we, we just maybe um, got a little bit loose in that second half and, and went away from what we are trying to do. So that's really good for us. It puts a line in the sand for us to build on from now. Yeah, the team was saying just now that the first half you were, well, the defence was shepherding them back in. They were having to punch in the middle and uh, you guys held pretty strong there for a while. Yeah, I think coming in, that's, that's what we plan to do, like preparation. We watched the last two games and obviously that's what we wanted to do, but that second half just kind of took us by shock and that first penalty and then they scored off that penalty kind of pulled us back a bit. So I think moving forward, we just have to regroup and reset and go again. With the rolling substitutions yep. again, it obviously helped, mm -hmm. you know, that, that pace. Times there were three, four players down from both sides. Mm, yeah. So obviously you've got to think as well. It's a yeah. Completely different yeah. Well, I think we went through eight, eight of our rolling subs. So we had two up our sleeve. Um, so that's something once again as a coaching group we can look at and see if we can do that better for, for the next match and maybe make the full use of the team. Yeah. Pat, I mean, you, you see, there's obviously a future the way the game is being played. Oh, it's exciting. I think that's what the spectators come to see the ball and play. They don't want to see endless lineouts and breakages in, in the match. Um, so I think it's definitely the, the future of rugby to, um, from the spectator's point of view, and, and that's who the game's for. So um, oh, I think it's a great concept, and we're, we're just uh, pleased to, to be playing in it.